Look at that, stunning. We're on the bottom left there for the Guangxi Sports Centre Gymnasium. And the other big, stunning developments in the precinct here locally. Nanning by night, absolutely gorgeous. And Japanese fans will uh, be breathing a big sigh of relief because their king, Kento, has uh, just given them the lead 2-1 in this overall tie now against Thailand. And, uh, you can see the score lines of what we've witnessed so far. The men's doubles, Kamura and Sonoda coming good in straight games. That did Momoto. Akane Yamaguchi slipped up to a familiar foe. Ponwape Chochiwonk with a 3-1 head-to-head -head stranglehold now over Yamaguchi. That was a terrific match that unfolded there. Really, really tight. But now we turn our attention to women's doubles. The third-ranked Japanese pair, Matsumoto, Matsutomo and Takahashi, beg your pardon, take on Kitiharuku and Prajongjai. Uh, they're making their way courtside as we speak. Japanese in good spirits by the looks of things. Thai team looking a little bit more purposeful. The Thai is ranked ninth in the world currently, so this is an all top 10 clash. Izaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi ranked fourth in the world right now. Now, interestingly, head to head wise, this is their fifth meeting. These two are 4 0 up in that regard, and their opponents have never taken a game. But who knows? Team pressure on all that could all change. Ayaka, you want red or you want black? Red. Red. Who is going to receive? Ayaka is going to receive. Receive. Rawinda serve. This side. So just uh, sorting out the housekeeping then. Ayaka Takahashi selecting the end. So women's doubles just about to unfold as we take a look at our players. Always exciting when you get such high level rankings going toe to toe in a critical stage in the tie. Well, it's all critical, isn't it? But here we go, Kitty Harakul then. John Kulfan, 26 years old, from Chiang Mai in Thailand. Has been as high as sixth in the world. He won the Thai Masters at home earlier in the year, and Rawinda Prajongjai, just uh, a year younger. Born and bred in Bangkok. The runners up at the Indian Open. 16 wins, only nine losses this year for these two. And that's how they went earlier against Russia. A couple of days, no, it's yesterday that encounter, wasn't it? They came through in two games, 42 minutes it took to their opponents. Ayaka Takahashi, one of the great uh, badminton players there's so many of them from Japan 29 years old at the moment ranked four but have been considerably higher up to the pinnacle of the game in November 2017 with her familiar partner Mizaki Matsutomo just a couple of years younger at 27 it's going to be interesting because there's been a bit of a fall from grace from these two, I guess some would say. Ready to play? They still are the de defending Olympic champions. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But Japan just has so many strong women's doubles coming through now. I think they have four within the top ten right now. Yeah. So they have to compete on the world stage and also within their own country for the top spot. Of course. And that's your domain, isn't it, women's doubles? You. Gronya, Somerville beside me. Delighted to have you along. And, and four wins, no defeats. How about that in the Sudaman Cup? Congratulations. Ter terrific for you. Thank you. Andrea 
Chapini from Italy in the chair and Trish Gubb, the service judge. No, really something. Well done. That's great. Really good. So you can give us lots of insight here. Have you played against either of these teams? Um, we haven't played against the Thai pair before, but we've played the Japanese pair twice, um, most recently just at the last New Zealand Open. And, yeah, they're definitely very, very powerful, especially um, Takashi from the backcourt. And then Mizaki's just so quick around the net. And, of course, their defense is watertight. But I think the ties, they're very quick and solid, but they'll need to come up with a lot of kind of creative shots because they lack a bit of the power that um, Takashi brings to the game. So it's quite, it'll be quite hard for them to um, penetrate the Japanese Ladies defense. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Japan, represented by Ayaka Takashi, Mizaki Matsutomo. On my left, Thailand, represented by John Golfan, Titikara Kul, Rawinda Prajonjai. Thailand to serve, Rawinda Prajonjai to Ayaka, Ayaka Takashi. Lavo. Play. Fourth match of the tie, women's doubles just about to get underway here. Japan against Thailand. Thunderous offing. She is quick around the net. Yeah, right. One love. And that is their favorite formation for their attack with Takashi at the back and Mizaki at the front coming in quick to cut stuff off. Ooh, super proactive at net. Two love. Judgment. Yeah, a bit of confusion there. And that's one thing that the Japanese really like to do is hit a lot to the middle and kind of promote that confusion and stuff like that. Just this rally of the match, 33 shots. Something that concerns me from Thai fans' perspective a little, and I think you'll concur with this, is maybe the Thai is just a, a little bit toothless because the Japanese defend the court so well, don't they? And it's a, what we were saying earlier, it's a kind of medium to slowish situation. So like this, it's tough to kill that point. That's really well played. Yeah, yeah. They, definitely, yeah they get Three. back a lot more shuttles than you would expect. So it's, it's long rallies to be able to come off a winner in points like those. But I've trained with this type here and I know that they're, they're super fit, so as long as they have the right tactics, I so think they can potentially four, hurt the Jap Japanese two. today. And what's that about? Is that about cuts and angles and spreading the court and then up in the, up in the ante? Or how, how would they go about that, would you? I think a lot of it is, yeah, using, getting creative with kind of, you know, some stop drops, some angles. They can't really just power smash their way through this Japanese defense. They've got to, yeah, make the court big and try and find the gaps. And also, you know, make sure they're hitting the right spots in their smashes. As the Japanese can sometimes just, like, wait for the perfect Five, forehand that they can just two. smack across. So you've just got to be very smart in the attack when you're up against this Jap Japanese pair.
outstanding rally. And you've got to credit to Ties. They were so persistent there. Six. Yeah, and the Rwanda was quite good with the cross defense in that rally. Because if you're just going too straight to Mizaki, she can just get right on top of that defense and really punish you. And this looks like a lucky shot, but this Japanese pair actually get a ridiculous number of these kind of shots. I think Takahashi must train that smash to hit the net because she gets like <laughs> two a game usually. Let's that was see. good attack with, um, you know, smashing either that. side of her. Three, I think Miss Misaki might six. be a little bit weaker in the, the defense and yeah, making her change that grip from the forehand to the backhand can challenge her there. A glimpse of Rexy Manike, very animated. Yeah, he's, he's a character, Rexy. Good play from the ties. Four, six. points getting on the front foot and managing to get the shuttle to the deck it up well for the front person to cut it off because it's got to kind of come back through the middle. It looked like a center, didn't it? Yeah. Six, nine. Former world number ones even make those kind of mistakes. 
Another long rally, that one. Quick in the front court, isn't she? You're absolutely right. That's a tumble. Six. All over it. And you know they've played together for so long that they have all the set plays. Like she knows when she, where she's smashing and where she needs to cover. So I think they're very used to how they get their points. Is there a lot of set plays that teams so would practice in, in practice in double sort of tactics, ten. you know, in their training repertoire every day? Yeah, definitely. There's, yeah, the, <laughs> there is set plays. Each unique to the partnership, of course, and their own strengths and what is best exploiting certain opponents, that kind of thing. Yeah, sort of tailored. Yeah. Right into the body. Eight, the Japanese ten. love to hit those forehands and just smack it away. So when you can kind of squeeze that forehand into their body, that's when they can struggle a bit. Yes, generally so good in that sort of flat hard game, aren't they? Mm. Cramp them up, I say. Handcuff them. <laughs> smash there is no challenge Nine. that's the kind of angles Ten. they really need to make use of to get ahead in this game Ty is closing the gap nicely here very competitive opening game three in a row for them make that four Very competitive yes, opening yes. quarter of an hour. It's the Thai pairing of Kitty Harikul and Prajongjai that just edge their way to the turn with a slender one point lead. That last net by um, Jungle Fan was really what they have to do. They have to challenge the net and try and look for other opportunities to get their points here. Because
Let's... So, what's going to unfold now in this tight opening game here? I thought that might have been spilling wide. So early there. But they did well at the start 11. of rally moving oh. Mizaki around the backcourt side to side. It's definitely good to try and keep her at the backcourt and away from that net because she's so dangerous. Deadlock with another aggressive point. The Japanese Okahara loves it. 13, they seem to have so much fun in that camp. Yeah. Is there as much camaraderie amongst you Aussies as well? Yeah, there is, yeah? but I mean, there's just not as many of us, so yeah. it kind of fizzles out yeah. quite quickly. Yeah. Overpressing, or maybe not. Hawkeye is engaged. Buttons have been pushed. And all eyes head towards the big screen to see what the outcome is of the challenge. Yeah, well, long in the end. It's so easy to see to do that, isn't it, from, from the other end. It's just so hard to get it right. Worth a try. No harm really into the second half of this game. So, so can these two do something they've never done before and take a game for the Japanese? Gigi. 13 all. All top Play. 10 women's doubles clash. Hunting that shackle down that. like a predator at the net. 14, so 13. Good at that. Gets onto it so quickly. Look at this. Done it a thousand times in practice. More, a few thousand. <laughs> Goes to bed dreaming about those sort of interceptions, I reckon. <laughs> Cool challenges called out. So a lot of chuckles from the Japanese, almost as if they know something we don't. Like that was a long way out. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Serizeva. 15-13. Play. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. Great shot. That's the kind of creativity they have to make use of in this game to try and get these 14, points. 15. Well, they're going on a tear again, aren't they? They had a five-point run earlier in the game, these two. Starting to look really good again. Two in a row for Jung Jai and Kitty Harakul. Trying to keep Mizaki at the back there for a bit. And avoid this situation right there. <laughs> That's why. Well said. Sandy Silva. Deadly at the front court. 16. And she's very 15. good at weaseling her way back in there. <laughs> so I like that weaseling, yeah. <laughs> weaseling. <laughs> Such a good word. I've got to make note of that, Gronia. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Japanese are so good when then they're under pressure in those fast situations, just being able to smack it right to the back court and kind of reset the rally. So I guess the favourite tactic is to try and almost lull them in 17, and then smack it at them, right? 15. Yeah. Izaki. Leon. Ah, change, change. Drop him. These next few points are going to be critical. You're going to have to keep the patience and the hard work 17, up the time pair if they want 15. to stick with them here. Shoulder of steel on Takahashi. Yeah, yeah, well said. She can just <laughs> smash nice. forever. Well, it was a really well played point from both teams, and psychologically, Gronje a little bit of a wounder to lose that one for the yeah. ties. And, uh, joyous for the Japanese. She's a powerhouse, isn't she, Takahashi? There's no doubt in that. Two-point gap here, which is still close, but Me? the Ties can't let it get to three, and the Japs really want that three-point. Ah, oh, sorry, four. Is he done? Oh, 
Well, that was going, wasn't it? It was tight. <laughs> and then reset, as you said. Yeah. Oh, they found it. Oh, hang on now. Yeah, there's always going to be a challenge there. I thought, I'm going to put my neck on the line here, but I don't know about you. I think they found the line here. The line judge himself changed his call. He did, he did. It was so tight, wasn't it? There's a couple of tight ones down that side, to be fair, but the ties commendably spreading their attack nicely. But what another really engaging rally we've been treated to. They did find it. Yes, they did. Yes, By a Nat's whisker. Look at that. Correction. A hair's breadth. Super challenge. Sadizuka. Nibbling away at Tally on the scoreboard. 16. 18. Back to two points in it. Mm. So. Play. Great industry from both teams here. Investing a lot. Good angle smash from Takashi there across the body of Rwanda. 19, 16. Well, I can tell you that the Ties have done something they've never done before. They've never got beyond 17 in a game, and they're knocking on the door right now. They've not done it yet, but you know, this is a sort of familiar failing for them about now. Japanese somehow raising the bar, but that was a nervous serve. 17, 19. Can they just go that little extra here? Let's push at the back end of this opener to find a way and somehow win a game from the former world number ones. As well, not to be and the Japanese 20. headlock Game point. is getting tighter. 17. Look at them dancing around there. <laughs> they're so cute. Aren't they? Not when they're the other side of the net, though. <laughs> <laughs> Three not get points. All. towards the business end. Ozaki, Matsutomo, and Ayaka, 17. Takahashi steal the opening game. 27 minutes played, 21 points to 17. ไม่ได้ไม่ต้องรีบตกตกไปหลายไม้เราจะรับโดนให้มันตกบ้างแล้วเราเราเปลี่ยนจากรับเป็นบุกได้เปลี่ยนบ้างแล้วก็ตอน
ิบบ้างให้มันมวงบ้างแล้วมันเข้าหน้ามาอย่างเดียวว่าเนะเซ็กเกอร์เกมสองเกมเลเวลเพลย์ญี่ปุ่นเกมที่ดีและเลือดสูงในการแข่งขันทั้งหมดของรเซอร์วิสเซอร์ฟ
Four, and Japan kind of have an unspo five. Or unspoken or spoken rule that Takahashi pretty much gets all the record shots that go towards the middle. did so well there just to keep Takahashi kind of almost in the front court, didn't they, and sort of switch them. But And then suddenly she gets hold of another overhead and just absolutely rifles it down, such as is, is her power. Quite something. It's really imposing. There's a lot of smiling going out on the court. It's a topic we brought up yesterday about, about having fun on court. Is that something the coaches talk to you about during match play or not at all? Is it all strictly strategic in the crunch moments? Uh, I guess on court you wouldn't talk about it as much, but maybe previously you would go into it and, yeah, I mean, if you're not doing what you love, then it's harder to be the best player you can. Put big moments, what are Set players carrying with them in their mind? Sort of, is it, is it Five, all strategy really to seven. sort of try and get the, get ahead and perform their best okay. or any ideas? I guess, yeah, it's just the tactic for the next upcoming point and exactly. yeah, having a plan for how to execute that tactic best. Court attendance being on. Thank you. We resume. It's pretty hot on court here. Five, you sit in the stands and you, you feel quite comfortable, and then you get on court, and five minutes into it, you're sweating up really? a storm. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. And how much is it sort of coach led the instruction, or do they allow players all the all the decision making entirely, and the coach just inputs a little and reminds them of their strengths and weaknesses? I mean, how does that kind of work pre-match? Is it that you set sit down and get briefed strictly, or you know you know exactly what to do and it's just a, a few reminders normally? Or does it um, vary? It's very, yeah, it's unique, of course, to each country and each kind of pair, I guess, and what helps them prepare best. But I think most players will have quite good guidance from their coach prior to a match. And usually, yeah, I think most countries now are into match analysis and watching their opponents. That's a wonderful change up from Takahashi. Great use of the Five. stop drop there to make some massive gaps in the court to just thunder down the smash at the end there. everywhere at the net, isn't she? She's just so quick in stepping in in that defense and just counteracting their attack there. So lithe and sinewy, sort of greyhound lean. Right. Right, then. Is Mizaki uh, Matsutomo. She covers the court like a greyhound as well. Yeah, always ready to pounce. Yeah. Cobra-like. I don't think of 
Coach. This is a sweeping statement, Gromio. I, I don't know if you agree with me, but Ten. I don't think there's any nation that better defends a badminton court and presses that reset than Japan as a collective. Do you? So good in that regard, aren't they? Mid rally under a lot of pressure, as you said, just flick it to the back court and, 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 and back to neutral. Off we go again. Yeah, they're very impressive and really well known for their defense. Insistent to the turn, 11-6, the Japanese masterful in this second game. here in the second half of the second game and some luck to start after this 11 point for the Thai pair hitting the net there. It's a familiar look, isn't it? Spends a lot of her time on the badminton court around there. She's at it again, isn't she? The bully on court, hammering her way Seven. home to get it one. Seven. Takahashi, just so strong. As you said earlier, shoulder of steel, well put. And it was that stepping in of Mizaki with the quick counter there that really changed rally. And then from there, that was the sign for the Japanese to step it up and kind of finish the rally. Seven. 
Oh, looking a little frustrated. They've thrown the kitchen sink over the net, and again, they must be tired of the sights of these guys as opponents because they just, they've just they never won a game, and it's hitting your head against the wall after a while, isn't it? Four defeats, it's frustrating for them. They're trying everything they've got. They just don't have the luxury of a Takahashi power smash to get cheap points. Oh, brilliant. Great defense there. Mizaki pretty much off the hole. The whole spot there for a moment. Thank you. Mizaki. I just found out that she um, used to be a singles player. All right. Okay. Right. How good was she? Do you know? No. I'm not no. too sure, but I'm sure she was quite good coming mm. from Japan, but maybe not good enough to <laughs> remain a singles player. Mm. It's a positive move, wasn't it, to get into doubles? Were you yeah. the same? I mean, I guess everybody starts out. Singles, yeah, don't I think most most countries, everyone plays three events up 15, until about 16, eight. 17 years old when they'll start to specialise coming out of juniors. Is that when you did about 17? Yeah, mm. mine was a bit earlier, around 16, 15, just because I was had a lot of injuries, mm -hmm. and I just kind of my body couldn't really cope that well with sing, uh, mm -hmm. singles. Yeah. chance there really to sort of ease towards putting this match to bed you sense yeah ties right up against it now Similar errors, just perhaps a little lapse in concentration, a little. Ten, fifteen. Or maybe trying to muss over press. Yeah, there's been a lot of long rallies, so maybe it's getting to them just a little bit. Ten, fifteen. Three in a row for Team Thailand. 11, Good pressure 15. From the Thais. Shake of the head there as if to say, come on, get back to your senses. Let's get a grip. Good play, yeah. The Thais are uh, forging their way back in here. so active as well on it. Her feet are always moving, she's always adjusting quickly. That is just outstanding. Lanjot, watch the court, please. So confident up there, isn't she? And again, the Thais had the attack, but 
remained just a little bit toothless. And that, for me, is the subtle difference between these two teams. And that's said with the greatest respect, because these guys are good. Very patient and hard working, but I think it's that uh, Takahashi smash that complements with the front court player's speed as well that makes them 7, 10, something very 11. special. Yeah. Service so over. 12, 17. Okay. Was that a little bit of a rolled ankle? I didn't quite catch that. But she's okay anyway, mercifully. So, still. Five points to try and earn back to bring parity. at the back there. <laughs> She's just saying no. <laughs> there she is, back where she belongs, at the front. <laughs> oh, ever menacing around that net. Sorry, so that. 8, 10, 12. Chateau, Thailand, Chateau. effort going to those smashes with little to show for it. Mm. Good use of the mid-court now by the tie pair. Oh, shame. Just rushed into error again by the ever-dangerous Ayaka well. Takahashi. Longest rally of the match there, 74 shots. Brave return. 
commendably. Just got a little luck as well. Still holding on to thoughts of a turnaround here, the ties. Nice and quick onto that lift to the middle of the court from under there. Oh, a hat trick of timely tie points. Great really shot. helped their Fifth cause. Game. Great Nine shot game. there, Ruin. Ru <laughs> Sorry, Jungle Fan really taking the opportunity to step in there at the right moment. Yeah, it's very brave, wasn't it? Yeah. Rewarded for her courage. Jungjae. 19-12 becomes 19-15. Responding really well, the ties. Four in a row now. Can they hold on somehow? Yes, they can. With a body blow to Takahashi. Now you never know. The Japanese might get a little tight here. It's not a very nice feeling, is it, when you're sort of losing the flow? You know, there's a sort of sense of desperation, isn't there? from the top seed's perspective. Yeah, the pressure mounting. Yes. Jungle Pan taking initiative there to step in once again. And she has to keep doing that. Oh, just as you thought Takahashi couldn't smash her way through, and they look so robust, the tie team. Suddenly just uh, netted that March last point, point, and with it now, three match points for the Japanese duo, the former world number ones. Just had that little bit more in a couple of key departments. And a smile breaks over the face of Matsutomo. Japanese women's doubles. Former world number ones coming good. 
17, 21, 17. Inside an hour on court. And they'll be mighty relieved Press one by Japan. to 21, 17, 21, combat 17. that resurgence very late in the match from the Thai duo that put up such a good fight. But the day belongs to Izaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. This was how they did it. Just so pressuring from that really robust smash of Ayaka Takahashi in the end and the superb net play from Matsutomo. They come through and extend the Japanese lead now to 3-1 in the overall tie.